All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Welcome back to my channel, and I hope you're hungry because tonight's a recipe video. We've got white cheddar chicken spaghetti squash. Creamy white cheddar chicken spaghetti squash, I should add. So, yeah, let's dive in. This is gonna be a great alternative to uh, calorie-heavy noodles if you're on a dieting phase or just if you're trying to get a healthier alternative to basic noodles. So this is a delicious recipe. It's one of my favorites. Let's hop right in and I'll show you how to make it. All right, let's cover the ingredients we're gonna need really quick. And this recipe is gonna yield two servings. So perfect if you're married, if you've got a date, you know, whip this up and press someone. All right, we've got, that's 200 grams of chicken. I've chopped up 75 grams of a yellow onion. And then that's gonna be 45 grams of baby bella mushrooms, or the mushroom of your choice. All right guys, and then for these last ingredients we're gonna need, we're gonna need some garlic salt, if you like the taste of garlic. And then this is gonna be for the cheese sauce. So we're gonna have some cream cheese, around 28 grams of that. Three of these white cheddar laughing cow wedges. They're only like 30 calories for a wedge. They taste amazing. There's a, so I have the white cheddar, I think it's aged white cheddar that I got. There's several different kinds. I think there's like a creamy Asiago and a garlic and herb. So, you know, this is customizable. Uh, whatever, whatever type of cheese you wanna use really. Some basil. And then we're gonna use 45 grams of light butter, 35 calories in a tablespoon. Then some black pepper. Then you're gonna want a spaghetti squash, of course. All right, then I would go ahead and get the chicken started. I'm obviously making more than the recipe requires, cooking for myself in bulk for the week. So I think that's the one we had measured out. So I'm gonna throw a lid on this and let it cook throughout. So this spaghetti squash is small enough to just, you know, toss in the microwave for about five minutes. I've gotten some flack for that method, so if you find that too cheap and too efficient, I know a lot of people will like to slice it in half and you will just wet each half with some water and then cover those halves in, in aluminum foil and then bake it for about 10 minutes. That's another great way to do it. I'm using the microwave. All right, I've got the onions and the mushrooms started. They are on a mid to high heat. And me personally, I like to put some black pepper, some salt, and actually even like a tablespoon of stevia, it makes it really sweet. I like the taste of caramelized mushrooms and onions. So if that's you too, go ahead and do that. All right guys, and while everything else is cooking in a saucepan, I went ahead and put 28 grams of cream cheese, the three Laughing Cow cheese wedges, and then actually put a tiny bit of almond milk in there just to lubricate the bottom of the saucepan. And keep in mind the onions and mushrooms and the cheese sauce are gonna get combined. Just a chef's note here, uh, I do like to put garlic salt in the cheese sauce and in the mushrooms and onions and on the chicken. I'm a garlic fiend. So add black pepper and salt to all of these ingredients and then the basil will go in last after you've combined everything. All right guys, so everything else is done. I'm about to cut this squash in half and get our 200 grams we need. And with all spaghetti squash, there will be this pulp, like a pumpkin where you'll just have to gut that out. So most store-bought squash, usually 200 grams is around just half of the squash. And so now we're gonna combine this with our cheese mixture. And so that's what the cream sauce should look like when the uh, cheese is melted with the mushrooms and onions. We're gonna throw the squash in with it. All right, so now we're combining the noodles with the cheese sauce. This will be a great time to add the basil and the garlic salt anymore if you want. Now some of you people are gonna be like, are you trying to murder me with the amount of sodium that you're consuming? All right guys, so I threw half of that chicken. So this is about 100 grams of chicken. And I went ahead and threw it in this mixture. This is gonna come out a little bit differently because I'm only making this for myself. But... All right guys, so this is the finished product, right? We have everything combined. Uh, the parts I kind of skipped over because I was trying not to burn my apartment down was uh, grating the noodles off the squash. So like when you open it, all you have to do is just run a fork up and down. It will naturally rip away the squash in noodle form. And then the chicken, of course, you know how to cut it into strips. So guys, let me give you the macros for this entire dish right here. So this is the entire recipe. So you could divide this into two. Uh, if you were to use all the ingredients that we listed in the beginning, the macros are 446 calories, 14 grams of fat. 22 grams of carbs and 56 grams of protein and it tastes phenomenal. So this is a great tasting, healthy, protein packed alternative to like a, you know, more carb heavy, 
pasta dish or something like that and you still get that salty, cheesy flavor that everybody loves. All right guys, so if you're planning on eating this or if you've already tried it, let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're enjoying recipes and if you'd like to see even more. Please share this with your friends and family and anyone that could use a great tasting recipe in their life. All right guys, see you in that next video.